Kevin here with another Flip and Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items to pick up really cheap thrifting and garage selling and I sell online either on eBay or locally on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and different places like that. Anyway, this week starts off with an eBay sale. Kind of interesting. The shirt, it did not go for as much as I thought it would, but it's still not too bad. I dropped the price quite a bit on this. Okay. Uh, I'll try to not unfold it too much, but I'll give you a rough idea what this thing looks like. So it's got huge collars. It's like a polyester shirt, uh, permanent press from Kmart, right? So it's a Kmart shirt. The print is really, really bizarre though. It's like a, uh, I mean, can you see that? It's like mountains and almost like Japanese trees. And then there's these like fortressy, churchy, medieval castle looking buildings. It's kind of sci-fi looking. It's like a sci-fi disco shirt from the 70s made by Kmart. Really strange shirt. And I got it at uh, Goodwill for $3.50. A while back I sold a another polyester, you know, huge collared disco type shirt. Uh, had uh, Peanuts characters on there. Um, I don't remember which one, Linus and someone else I think. But anyway, uh, I sold it and it went for pretty good money. I don't remember what it was. So this one I thought was just so bizarre. I put it way up there at like 45 bucks, 42, 95, 44, 95, something like that. Had it way up there. Of course, nothing happened. I dropped the price, dropped the price. I finally had it down to 17.95 of free shipping because I'm just trying to get rid of the clothing. I don't care about selling stuff like that too much anymore. And uh, anyway, it finally sold. It still took a while, so it went for 17.95 free shipping and I paid $3.50 at Goodwill. So it'll be an all right return. Uh, after shipping and the fees and all that, I'm probably going to make, I don't know, $8 or something. So not not very good at all, but I don't know. It's just kind of a cool find. I'm, I'm happy to finally have sold it. Okay, now also in just a few minutes, someone's coming by for a local item. So let me show that to you next. All right, so here's the local item that someone's coming by to pick up. It's a Kelty bag. Uh, let's see if you can see here. There you go. Kelty. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s, so it's a little bit older one, but it's not too terrible. I mean, it's got some stains and a few snags here and there, but I don't see any like major rips or anything. The padding still seems like it's pretty good condition, just a little bit stained up. But it's an internal frame bag. I don't remember the size or anything. I got it at a garage sale for 10 bucks, and I was thinking that, you know, this is going to be like an easy $60, $70, or something like that. And uh, I noticed the interior looked a little weird, but I thought that was like, you know, dust from someone being on the trail, you know, throwing their boots in there that had like gravel dust and things like that. So I just brought it home. Well, then I started looking at it and I realized that that is the waterproofing coming off. And it's pretty gross. So I didn't really want to put it on eBay and ship it out and someone, you know, not realize, even though I showed good pictures, you know, they want to send it back or something. So I just tried uh, selling it locally. And I don't know, I was trying to get 30 or 40, something like that. So I finally had it down to 25 and now someone's coming over to pick it up. So hopefully they buy it and like it and I'll make my $15 off of it. And just know from now on to definitely be very careful about the interiors of these bags because that one's kind of gross, but otherwise the bag's not too bad a condition. Okay, so that Kelty bag sold for 25 bucks and I paid 10, so I made 15 on that. Also, I just sold the mini fridge I picked up this weekend. I forgot to take video because I was in a rush today. Uh, I was asking $40 for it locally on uh, Facebook Marketplace. A guy asked if I could deliver it to him all the way across town, very far in, probably 12 miles away or something like that. I took it over there, maybe 10 miles, but anyway, I took it over there and uh, he decided to pay me $45 for it because I delivered it. So I ended up making a $40 profit on that little mini fridge. So I will keep my eye out for them. I'm sure not every deal is going to go like that, but they're pretty good money. If I can make $30 a pop on them. You know, if I could buy them for five or ten bucks, which might be kind of hard, but if I could, those actually sell pretty well. Okay, also had a really, really nice eBay sale. It's this right here. More Transformers. Two tiny cassettes, the teal and blue one and the purple and orange one. They both have the weapons. The weapons are not in the greatest shape. The, the chrome is kind of flaked and scratched. So I did sell these a little cheaper than where others were selling them. So this particular pair was going for about $74.95 of free shipping on eBay. Because the chrome on mine was not in the greatest condition, I put them at $72.95, and they were listed for, what, maybe two weeks now, and they sold. All right, so out of that whole $5 box of old Transformers, I pulled these out. There's also three more uh, little mini cassettes that haven't sold yet. They, they're not worth quite this, but they should still go for good money. 
But when I looked up, uh, just to see what they were called, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to just sell everything together or kind of divide up or whatever. So I looked up uh, Vintage Transformer Cassette Purple. I mean, that's the only thing I knew. I didn't know it had a name or anything. Turns out the purple one I think is called Beast Box or something like that. And it transforms into a gorilla. And then the teal one, I don't remember its name, but it transforms into like a falcon or eagle or some type of bird, I think, if I remember right. So I just, you know, I uh, looked them up. I realized people were selling them together as a set. I was like, okay, that's cool. I don't know why, but whatever. I'll just do that too. So I took the pictures. I showed them like this. I showed just the cassettes, just the weapons. I transformed them each into the animals. I showed different angles. And then I listed them. And when I was listing, I realized the reason they sell together is because both of these, uh, when you transform them into the animals, also combine to make one bigger transformer. And it was, I don't remember the name of it either, but it was a combination of both of these names. But uh, anyway, long story short, that if you find these transformers, they're worth really, really good money. So, uh, like I said, I had a $5 box. I divided it into several different lots. The best performing ones, I decided to consider each one a dollar. So I'm calling these a dollar, and they sold for $72.95 of free shipping. So that's really, really awesome. This little tiny box, uh, it's only four ounces. I bet it's going to be three probably around three dollars to ship maybe 350 somewhere around there so it's going to be almost nothing so hardly any money in it and it's a really really nice sale so anyway i need to get this shipped off i have like 15 minutes before the post office closes so i need to go do that but man i'm hoping some more stuff sales uh today because uh ebay's having a uh um because it's amazon prime day ebay is having a sale for items 119 above so i've been listing all my most expensive stuff hoping that some of them will sell. So anyway, let me get back to work. All right, so it's the next day, and I actually had quite a few sales on eBay yesterday. Yesterday was Amazon Prime Day, and from what I understand, Amazon Prime, I, I, you don't use it, so anyway, it's, I think it was $99 a year, now it's $119 a year. So to compete with it yesterday, eBay had a sale where if you bought anything $119 or above or higher, you would save $25 except for a few things like coins and real estate and I don't know, there's a small list of things you couldn't buy. But anyway, uh, I decided to take advantage of that. So I went through all my listings, anything that was about $95 or up to about 119, I bumped them all up to at least 119 or higher and uh, with free shipping and then tried to get them to move quick. And then I also went through my uh, pile of stuff downstairs that I have boxed up but not listed yet went through everything I thought was worth close to at least $100, and I listed them. And uh, I, I did it all day long. I was, I was working all day getting stuff listed and changing prices, but it paid off. I sold three things because of the sale. They were all 119 or above, so it was actually a really, really good day for sales. Um, first item I'm gonna show you here, though, was actually not part of that. So this is a Coleman little Oscar cooler. If you ever see these, they sell pretty well. I was trying to get more money out of them than I sold them last fall. Uh, I picked several up for garage, at garage sales and thrifting for about $2 each or so, a dollar, two dollars. And I could sell them pretty quickly for $29.95 of free shipping. So they were all about $10 to ship. A couple of them might have been a little more than that if they went to like New York or California, you know, maybe $13 or $14. So, I mean, it's not like super profitable, but they did sell well. I sold five or six of them within like a month or something. So they, they went pretty quickly. So when I found several this year, like this one I got for $3 at a garage sale, I tried to put it at $29.95 plus shipping and it didn't work. No one was buying it. I was trying to get as much as I could out of it. Maybe I could have done $34.95, just that extra five bucks with free shipping. Maybe that would have worked, but I just decided to just put free shipping on them and see what happens. I finally sold one. So I paid three and it sold for $29.95 of free shipping. So after shipping, after fees, and the purchase price, more than half my money is going away. I'll probably make like $12 on it. So it's, eh, you know, it's okay. It's not too bad. Okay, the next items are all really, really good sales. Um, first one, let me dig it out here. It's all bubble wrapped. You're not gonna be able to see it. I'll just show you a picture, but this is it right here, super heavy. It is a vintage Smith Corona typewriter. It is their classic 12 model. Really cool looking. Mine was really clean. I got it at a garage sale for 20 bucks. I think it was a lady asking 30 or 40 on it. I got her down to 20 on it. And uh, anyway, I looked it up. They were going for about 90 to almost $100. 
So this was one of those items I did not have listed, so I popped it up yesterday. I put it at 119 with free shipping. So I put it at the bare minimum it would take to get that sale to kick in, that coup, sale coupon yesterday to kick in. And it sold, this one sold really quickly too, probably within like 20 minutes someone bought it. So maybe I had it too cheap, but whatever. I got it to move, paid 20, sold for basically 120, and I will pay the shipping. It's kind of heavy, I don't know. I'm expecting 20 bucks or something, 25. So it's not gonna be like, you know, it's not a hundred dollars I'm actually making, but I'm probably making half of that. So I'm not sure what the math works like, uh, works out like. I'm trying to rush because I gotta go to the post office. So anyway, that was a pretty good sale. Okay, next item, uh, let's see, I'll go with this one. If I can get it. All right, this is the HP DeskJet 5650 printer. Got it at a church rummage sale for 10 bucks. Looked them up, same thing. They were selling for about $100, even $120. Mine had the box, all the instructions, the cables, it had everything. The only thing is there's no ink, I couldn't test it, I didn't know how to test it, so I sold it untested, and I put it a little bit cheaper than where I thought it should go for. So I put it at $139.95 plus free shipping, because there were some that were selling for like $175, they were like, you know, $150, they were a lot higher. And I just want to take advantage of that sale, so I put it up, and then on my listing, I made sure to put the coupon code, let people know that they can use it. I put it in the title too. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I did that. And it worked, it sold. So um, this one has, I think this is the one. Yes, it has not been paid for yet though, so I can't send it out just yet. Okay, next item, uh, this is kind of a weird one. I think I showed it in the last video. Technically I already sold it, but I resold it today, if that makes sense. This is, you're not really gonna be able to see it, but this is that Vex Robotics Kit. And uh, when I originally listed it, I had it at, hundred and twenty four ninety five with paid shipping or best offer at 110 and someone gave me an offer of hundred and ten dollars I took it and then I waited it's been like almost a week or something or close to a week and I hadn't paid I sent them an invoice a few times finally like two days ago I sent them a message it was like hey if you want to buy it I have a box up ready to ship out as soon as I receive uh, receive payment if not just let me know I'll cancel it no big deal just let me know either way they contact me and they're like Hey, I, I uh, bought it and uh, eBay's uh, shipping said it was going to be $25. Then when I actually clicked through to purchase it, it showed the price was even more than that. It was a lot more than that. So somehow their estimated shipping was off and they they weren't mad, but they, they were just like, you know, why did it, why is it costing so much? Is there any way we can cut costs? Well, they'd already agreed to pay for it. I'm not sure that it's like the best thing to do with eBay. I probably should have just made them pay for it, but what we... We tried to work it out. We couldn't change the price on the shipping, so I just ended up canceling it for him. And then I relisted it at the price he was expecting. So I put it at 110 plus 25 shipping. So I did 135 with free shipping. Sent him the link, and like in a minute, he bought it today. So um, he got it for the price he was expecting. I don't know if he's trying to, you know, cheat me out of a little bit of money or what. I just decided to do it. And, uh, you know, just taking his word that he was expecting to pay 25 and ended up being more than that. Now, when I looked up shipping, it's actually going to be like $32 to send, so I'm going to eat that extra 7 bucks. That's why it's kind of a weird deal, but I just want to do it, just be done with it, not have to think about it, and uh, I'll send it off. And he did pay for it finally today. Okay, the uh, next item, I guess it's just this one. This was pretty awesome. Uh, I'll have a show picture, same thing. I have it all bubble wrapped up. You're not going to be able to see it. But this is that Bandai... It's a Bandai toy from 1991. I just got it this past Saturday for two bucks. This is the Japanese Power Rangers uh, Titanus or Titanus Megazord, uh, Mega, yeah, Megazord, I think. Yeah, Titanus Megazord or Titanus Megazord. Anyway, it's that white dragony monster looking thing. Um, I bought it for two bucks. I looked it up and they sold for really good money. It was the last one I saw just like mine sold for $99.95. Uh, I don't remember if that was plus shipping or free shipping. So I figured, hey, it's worth close to $100. I will take advantage of that sale and put it at 100 I think I did that. Yeah, $119 for free shipping. And it sold within a few, a few hours at least, probably within three or four hours. It was pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, 
Like I said, pay two dollars, sold for one nineteen. It's not going to be that expensive to ship. I don't know. It's not. It's not super heavy, so I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. So that ended up being a really good turnaround. Also, it was not totally complete. It was in good condition, but I realized when I was uh, listing it and doing research on comps that it was missing one piece on the chest. There's a little piece that fits in. It has like these little plastic jewel things or whatever. I did not have that, but I had everything else. Like I mentioned, it has a chain hanging on it. Someone's selling one for 55 bucks. So this thing is like sought after and the parts are worth really good money. So someone got a good deal. So they bought it for 119, they got free shipping and they got 25 off. So they got a really nice one for 94 bucks. Although I actually get the full 119. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, that was all of the, oh, and by the way, they have not paid for that one yet either. So I actually can't send that one out yet. So anyway, that was the uh, flips and finds of today. I did not have any local sales, but there were a few people asking about some stuff. But I got to get booking because I got like 20 minutes to get this stuff uh, ready to ship out. So anyway, let me go take care of that. All right, so yesterday and today has been awesome. The floodgates of $100 plus sales have opened up and they have been pouring in. This is crazy. So it's probably definitely my highest uh, grossing like 24 hours on probably forever on eBay. But uh, man, lots and lots of sales. I'll start off with the kind of not so good ones and then we'll build up. So the lowest price one is this right here. I finally sold this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Uh, I found it at a, a garage sale for a dollar last fall. It's like maroon plaid, then it has like fish and old school tackle boxes and stuff on it. Kind of a really bizarre, strange shirt. Uh, if I'm going to buy any more clothing, it's gonna be like weird oddball stuff like this. I really thought it was gonna go for more money. I probably could have held out. Maybe I should have never dropped the price and just you know held till someone finally bought it. But um, I, I did drop the price anyway, so I put it down, wow, put it all the way down to $10.95 plus shipping. I really thought this was going to be like a $30 or $40 shirt when I first found it. And that's what I'm saying. I could have just held out. Maybe someone would have bought it. But anyway, it went for $10.95 plus $6.70 shipping. So that's a total of $17.65, and I paid a dollar for it. Okay, next item over here. I think I just mentioned in the last clip, or whatever I shot the video, uh, yesterday I sold a Coleman Little Oscar and I said that uh, I had recently dropped the price on all my coolers to about $30 for free shipping. Well, today I sold another one. All right, so this one's a little different. Uh, here we go, you can pretty much see, I might have to show a picture. This is, instead of a Coleman, this is an Igloo and it has like a strap. And uh, anyway, this one's a little bigger but it fits in the box real nice. Um, I got it for $3. And I had it up for $32.95 plus shipping originally. Then I just got rid of shipping and did free shipping. And I had best offer on there down to 28 bucks. Someone gave me that offer. I decided to go ahead and take it. Um, when I shipped off that Igloo cooler yesterday, it was $10.03. I imagine this would be about the same. So probably make after fees and purchase price and all that, probably somewhere between like 10 and 15 in profit, which is eh, it's okay. If you're just getting started, that's probably a good way to go. These sell way better. I mean, they sell faster than like shirts and things like that. But when you're trying, like for me, I'm trying to do items that sell for $30 or more after paying fees and if I do shipping and all that kind of stuff. I haven't been too great at it, but lately I've been finding like really expensive items that are 100 plus and they've been selling. And I got to say, these 100 plus items, all the next, uh, next several, next five items were $100 or more sold way easier than some of this really cheap stuff. So that's something to consider, although it is a little hard to find all the time. Okay, so the next price, or the next item in the price scale uh, was this right here. All right, so this is a Kelty bag, Kelty hiking backpack, huge box. Um, I paid a lot for this at a garage sale uh, when I uh, compared to what I actually sold for. Um, the lady was asking $55 and I talked her down to $45 and uh, I thought it was going to sell for about $120. Well, it didn't. I took a best offer. I had it list a long time. I had the pricing all over the place. At one point, it was down to like $90 of free shipping. No one wanted to buy it. Then this, a couple days ago when eBay had the, uh, you know, competing with Amazon Prime, had their $119 and above sale, I, I put it back up to $119. Then yesterday when that sale was over, I changed the price again to include uh, a best offer and I went down to a hundred dollars and that is the offer I got. I got a, finally got a hundred dollar offer on it with free shipping. I'm just going to take it. I paid 45. 
shipping on the other one I sent out the other day. Uh, or did I send one out? I don't know. But anyway, I, I imagine shipping is going to be like 20 bucks. I don't think I did sell one. I, I must have just did. I think someone was asking um, how much it would cost to ship somewhere. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I looked it up and it was like, it was going to be about like 20 something bucks to ship out. So when it's all said and done, after 100 bucks, I'm going to pay some fees. I'm going to pay that whatever shipping is going to be. It's not going to be that great of a profit. Uh, I don't even know. I'll, I guess I'll let you know tomorrow or something when I actually send it out. But I imagine it's going to be like 30 bucks or something like that. So not super great, but still it was a $100 item. Okay. Next item bumping up is another typewriter. All right. It's interesting that these sold so quickly. I had these sitting around forever. I was like, oh, I don't want to list them. I, you know, they're kind of dirty. I don't know if they work. And do people really want to buy them? I probably should just go ahead and list it anyway and whatever. I'd like to get my money back. I list them and they both sell in like a day or two. So I should have had them up a long time ago. Uh, this one, you know what, I'm not going to show you. I'll just have to show a picture of this one. It's all bubble wraps and everything. This is a vintage Smith Corona uh, Silent Super typewriter. This one was a little dirtier than the one I sold the other day. And uh, anyway, it sold for $105 with free shipping. So that's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe that's what was like 20 bucks that that uh, typewriter the other day. So maybe this Kilty bag will not quite be that. Maybe it'll be you know 15 to 20, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know. Okay, uh, now we're gonna bump up a little bit to where is it? Right here. This is a pair of Justin boots. I got these at Salvation Army for 15 bucks and. You know what, I'm just gonna show a picture too. These are actually pretty cool, but the picture will probably show up better. These are snakeskin boots, uh, yeah, snakeskin boots, I think Python. They were in excellent condition. They were kind of a weird size. They were size 8B, which is narrow. That's a really small foot. So I kind of thought they'd take a while to sell, but they sold in like two or three days and I got uh, exactly what I was asking, which is interesting because they sold more than the last pair. The last pair I saw sold was like, it was either like 99 or maybe 109 or something like that. I had mine at 119 because I, I put them up the other day during that sale. And then yesterday when that sale was over, I just kept it at 119 free shipping and I put a best offer, I think, down to 105. And they sold for full price anyway, 119 with free shipping. So that was awesome. Okay, next item. All right. I'll tell you what, I'll set to show you a picture of this too, but here's the box. It's pretty heavy. This is that Vitamix 5000 uh, blender I picked up. This was awesome. I knew it was going to be a great sale, and I got it at a garage sale. It was just sitting there. Uh, you know, I, I'm driving by, and it was like this little rinky-dink sale, and I see a Vitamix. I'm like, no way. That's not a Vitamix at this sale. And I go check it out, and there's no price. I'm like, oh, okay. They know what they have. So I asked the lady if it's for sale. Oh, yeah, this was my dad's. He, I think he had recently died or something, and uh, they are just trying to sell off her stuff. And I said, well, how much are you asking for that? And she's like, well, I don't know. How much would you give? And then I'm thinking, okay, she doesn't really want a ton of money out of it. And uh, she was like, well, how about $20? And I'm thinking, 20 bucks, seriously? That's like, those are like hundreds of dollars. So I said, okay, yeah, I'll do, I'll do $20. And then she was showing me that the mixing cup was kind of scuffed up and stained. And that if you went to walmart.com, that's the cheapest place you could get a new one if you wanted and all this kind of stuff. So I did it. I paid 20 bucks. And I looked them up and they were selling, I mean, kind of all over the place. I could have parted it out or I just sold it all complete. Um, I was asking I put it up during that sale and I think I put it at two twenty four ninety five for the best offer of one ninety nine ninety five and then after that sale I just went ahead and dropped the price down to one ninety nine ninety five with free shipping I just wanted to sell it off I mean that's great I only paid twenty bucks whatever you know ooh boy I'm losing fifteen dollars or whatever so I just left it there and it sold pretty quickly it's going all the way to California so it's gonna be pricey to ship but uh, it sold for $199.95. Okay, this next item is another one of those things. I've had it sitting around forever. This is the most expensive, I think, yeah, I think this is the most expensive item I've ever bought to resale. And it's one of my higher priced items that I've sold on eBay. And uh, anyway, uh-oh, my box just, whoops, my box down there just collapsed. Okay, this is a huge box. It's the same thing. I have it all bubble wrapped up. You're not gonna be able to see it. So I will show a picture. 
but this is the uh, Dish Network Tailgater. It's this big white plastic box. It looks like this weird cooler thing, and that is a satellite dish that you use for RVs, boating, camping, tailgating, that type of thing. It's called the Dish Network Tailgater, and uh, it even had the little uh, um, receiver and the remote and all that. I wasn't able to actually test it to like, hey, yeah, I'm watching TV with this thing, but I plugged it in, it did turn on. When I bought it at a garage sale, I paid $100 for it. I asked the people if it worked. They said, yeah, they used it for college football, tailgating. Uh, that town 30 miles north I go to sometimes for garage selling has a college football team. So anyway, uh, I uh, uh, bought it for 100 bucks and then had it sitting forever. And I was like, oh, the thing is so big. I don't want to ship that out. Is it really going to sell? Maybe I should just sell it locally. Just flip it for like 150 so make 50 bucks, be done with it. I don't have to ship it. And the other day, I was just like, you know, I see the sale that eBay had for the 119. I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to list it. I had to go buy a box, uh, you know, a whole $1.42 or whatever at Walmart. And it fit in there really well. Bubble wrapped it all up. I list it for $220. No, take it back. I listed it for $224.95 with a best offer at, I don't know, $200 or something like that. And someone gave me an offer of 220, so I took it. And that's with free shipping. It's a big box. It's kind of heavyish, but that's a great return. So, 100 bucks turned into 220, and uh, I don't know what shipping is going to be. But and also I had to pay fees. But I imagine fees and shipping together is probably 40 dollars, maybe 50, something like that. And I'm still making like 120 above what I paid, so it should be a really good turnaround. Maybe I'll make 60-something profit, 70-something profit, maybe just under 80, somewhere around there. So that's really good. So that was all the sales. So between yesterday and today, not even 24 hours, I sold seven things. Five of them were over 100 bucks. Yesterday, uh, I sold one, two, three, four things that were over 100 bucks. Two of them have still not been paid for. I've sent them invoices again, and then I will have to message them later if they don't. Uh, get a hold of me. So anyway, I got to get this stuff ready to ship out. I am not sure I'm going to make the post office now, but I am going to try. All right. So I just got back from doing some garage selling this morning on Friday and I found some really cool stuff, pretty cheap. So uh, one of the first garage sales I went to, I found both of these RC cars. These are new bright. It's just cheapo Walmart stuff. But I mean, compared to my hand, this is a huge one. Okay. And the thing with the Hummers is that uh, some people take the bodies off because it's a really, really big body. And then they put them on the really nice high end, like crawler and, you know, the, the big, like, uh, almost like a monster truck type um, RC, you know, a really high end one though. And they just use these bodies. But this one's complete. It has the remote, has the power charger, all that in there. I looked them up and they were selling for anywhere from about $60, $70 plus shipping up to around maybe even one, 120, somewhere around there. So it's, it's about a $100 um, RC. Okay, PT Cruiser here is not in the greatest shape. It has a huge scuff right there. But uh, it's interesting, there's not a lot of them around on eBay. And the ones I looked up, uh, they were a little bit nicer condition, but one of them had sold for, I think it was like $65 plus shipping. So that's really cool. And I, only, I don't remember if I said how much, but I, I bought both of them for $15 for the pair. Okay, at another sale, I found this printer. It's an HP PhotoSmart uh, 8250. It does work. They plugged it in for me, showed it how, uh, you know, how to use it. Um, you can just plug in a uh, little, uh, what do you call it, a little memory thumb drive thing in here, or you can put in different memory cards and print straight from it, or you can actually hook it up to your computer and it'll print photos. Uh, they were asking 25 and I got it for 15. I looked this up and I probably can get about hundred dollars plus shipping uh, somewhere between one and 150. So maybe hundred plus shipping or maybe 140, 150 or free shipping somewhere around there. Okay now also I got a local and a uh, eBay find outside I got to show you. All right so I just have them kind of sitting on a driveway. It looks a little weird but this is outdoor furniture and you got the big couch and they you know two big curves here i mean they're pretty long they're probably i bet that's six feet long corner to corner and then it has these pieces that go in between little pie cuts and they have storage one of them is in pretty rough shape though she said her sons blew it out one day by the pool so it's it's a little bit rough condition you can see right there and then it's just the whole thing is a little bit worn out but uh, anyway 
when I was walking up to this garage that was a really, really high end part of town. And uh, I heard a lady uh, ask the homeowner, she said, how much would you sell just those pillows for? And the homeowner was like, oh, those are front gate brand. They were like $50 each new, and I'd really prefer to sell them with the furniture. So the other lady looked kind of disappointed, so she walked away. So then I walk up and I said, well, how much would you take for everything? And she said, oh, I'd do $75. And I said, well, how about 50? And she said, well, how about 60? So I got it for 60 bucks. Now the thing is, these pillows, I looked them up, they really are like $50 new uh, on eBay. So used, I don't think I'll get 50 each, but I think what I'm gonna do, they're just a little dirty. Um, I have to clean them up, but they're really not bad at all. A couple of little, or you know what, that was not a snack. Okay, anyway, they're actually pretty clean. I'll just make them look a lot better and I'll probably sell them as a lot. I think they could go for a couple hundred dollars, maybe two, three hundred. I doubt they would go four hundred, but I think it would be quite a bit. And then this furniture, like I said, it's, it's a little worn out, but this stuff is expensive. The couches are also front gate brand. I looked them up and man, brand new. This is probably several hundred dollars just for that piece. That was probably several hundred dollars. Each one of those were probably almost a hundred dollars each. I mean, it was really expensive stuff, but it's just so worn out. It has marks all over it and everything. I just want to sell it cheap locally so i want to get at least my 60 dollars back out of it and maybe more maybe someone will pay like 100 bucks for it and then the pillows i will throw on ebay and uh, see if i can get some really really good money out of those all right so i just got back from doing more garage selling i totally forgot i got to go meet someone in town for this trunk about two minutes ago and it's like a 10 15 minute drive so i'm running late but this is that 10 dollar trunks really big i mean compared to my hand this thing's like 21 inches tall or something like that. It's a really, really big trunk. And uh, I sold it for, I think they're getting it for $95, but I think that's what it was. So I should make an $85 profit. So anyway, I gotta get over there. I am running late. All right, so I just got back and I sold the trunk for 95. Like I said, I paid 10, so I made $85 on it. So that was really good. So that really big trunk, I know they can bring good money. Probably not quite $100 around here where I live, but pretty close to it if I can find them you know, really big like that one, so, and get them cheap. So that was a really, really good sale. Okay, also, then when I left there, I did go to Salvation Army and found a couple things. I'll show them to you in a minute, but first I wanna show you what sold on eBay today so that I can go mail it before the post office closed, then I'll come back and I'll show you. So I got another table and chair set. I bought two table and chair sets today, the couch and all those pillows, and then a blender thing, I'll show you. Okay, here's what sold on eBay. Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, still brand new sealed. Apparently back whenever this was new in, uh, I had a year on there somewhere. Was it like 1996? So this thing's 22 years old, still brand new, but back then it was 49.96. So I saw this at my local uh, Habitat for Humanity uh, restore thrift shop, which usually doesn't have very good stuff. And I saw this there and it was seven bucks. And I looked it up and at the time I couldn't find any exactly like it. But I found one that was like some type of expansion pack or something, and it was like 30 something bucks. So I thought, wow, okay, if the expansion pack is that much, then the original has got to be worth way more than that. Maybe this is like 50, 60, 70 bucks. So I bought it. Then I get home and I do research and I realize there's a bunch of them on there on eBay, and they're not worth that much. So I just decided to get rid of it, get my money back, maybe, maybe make a few dollars on it. So I sold it for $15.95 plus 926 shipping, which is a total of 2521. So I probably could have put it at, you know, 2695, 2795 free shipping. It probably would have sold and I'd made an extra dollar or two. So I'm really getting 16 out of it. I paid seven and I'll have to pay some fees. When it's all said and done, I'll get like six or seven dollars profit. So really terrible. So I would not recommend buying this. And I tried to look it on Amazon to see if I was able to sell it on there because I have a pile of stuff I still haven't sold on there, but I've been building it up and this was something I wasn't allowed to sell yet. So anyway, I'll get this sent off and get my, you know, $5 profit or whatever it's going to be. And then when I come back, I'll show you the uh, local items I picked up. Well, as I was printing the shipping label for the flight simulator, I sold another one of these Haynes manuals. So I'll go ahead and send this out too. It's for the 91 through 1996 Chevy Impala SS Caprice and Buick Roadmaster. Still brand new sealed. I bought a bunch of these off the clearance rack at Advance Auto. I got a big deal. I bought 14 of them. They all, all ended up being like 276 each. 
I've sold enough of them off that I've got all the money back that I spent on them. It was like almost, it was just under $39. I've made that back, so now they are all pure profit. So this one sold for $13.95 plus $2.66 media mail shipping, really cheap shipping. So that's a total of $16.61. So roughly $17, and then I am going to pay 13% uh, fees on that. So whatever 13% fees is on like $17, so what, $2 or something like that. So off the $13.95, I will actually pocket probably about $11.50 to $11.95, somewhere around there. That's about how all the rest will go. There might be a couple of them that are only going to go for like $8.95 or something, but I think most of them are probably $10, $11, bucks pure profit, something like that. So that's not too bad. So anyway, I need to go ahead and uh, send this out because I have 20 minutes to print the label, go over to the post office, and get back because there's a lady coming by to buy a table, which I'll show you next. Here's that little table it's gonna sell. It's not real wood, but I thought it had kind of a cool shape to it. Figured someone would probably paint it. Anyway, I paid $5 for it. I'm only gonna get 15 out of it, so hopefully when they come by, they like it, and I make my 10 bucks off of it. All right, the lady came by and bought that little table for 15, so I made $10 on it. That was pretty decent. Okay, so here is the first table and chair set I bought today. It was at a garage sale. Uh, as soon as I pulled up, I saw it. I was like, whoa, that thing's kind of cool. I don't normally buy or recommend buying this type of table and chair set where it's just the tube metal legs and a particle board top with a laminate, you know, from like the 60s or 70s or whatever. But I think this one has the look. I really, really like that grid on the back of the chairs and the black frames. So I kind of want to keep some of the chairs. So I... Uh, think I'm going to keep four of the chairs and I'll sell off the fifth and then I'll redo them, I'll repaint them, rewrap the uh, seat base and then we'll sell off some of our chairs we have in our kitchen now. And then the table, what I was going to do is repaint the legs black, match it up with this chair and then a couple of chairs on our table and sell it off. But looking at it now, it's missing a leg down here. It should have that type of leg, but this is like some, you know, rigged up thing. So that's not good. So I don't know. Uh, she was asking 35 and uh, I was able to get it for $25 right when this lady walked up said she wanted to buy the table. So I bought it, I mean, just in the nick of time. And uh, anyway, uh, for 25 bucks, I mean, that's a good price for the chairs just to keep. But I'll try to sell off the table, see if I can get maybe 25 just on the table. I doubt I will, but I don't know, 15 20 25 bucks, something like that. And uh, just be done with it, and then I will have chairs really cheap, and they're pretty cool. So anyway, now let me show you the second table and chair set I bought today. All right, and here is the second set of table and chairs. I got these at Salvation Army. And as you can see, they are painted bright orange. It's pretty ugly and it's pretty rough, but I think I can turn and burn it pretty quick. I won't make a whole lot because I kind of paid a little bit too much. I paid $50, which is a little bit crazy now that I think of it. But I want to see if I can just flip them real quick tonight or tomorrow for like $75, $85, something like that. Just make a little money. It was just kind of hard to pass. I probably should have though, because they're pretty rough. I mean, you can see the edge here of the faux wood top is not too good. It's got some gunk on there. The chairs have like a really bad paint job and it's peeling in spots, so that'll have to be redone. And then it has a tile top, which I'm sure a lot of people are not going to like, you know, with the gross looking grout. And then you can see it has some hairline cracks through it. So I want to sell it cheap. Probably shouldn't have bought it, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I can make at least like 25 bucks on it, but I don't know. So I'll uh, get some pictures of it and get it listed as soon as we can. There's the neighbor's dog. All right, well, I got everything listed tonight, and now someone is asking about the outdoor sofa sectional thing. And, I mean, just check it out. It's in pretty rough condition, but I did look up front gate uh, sectionals online, and they really did have one that looked like this, and it was $3,000. It was crazy expensive. But it did not have the hen section, and with this being kind of like a little bit rusty and I don't know, I just, I'm not totally sure if the bench part is front gate or not. There's no identification. Now the pillows are, I mean, that is definitely front gate. If you see that brand anywhere, it's actually a really good brand. They make really expensive outdoor furniture stuff. So anyway, someone is coming by from about half an hour away and uh, I just had it listed for 85 bucks. I'm just doing it really cheap because it's rough and I just like my money back a little extra on top and then all my real money is going to come out of selling the pillows which about half of them are in the washer right now so anyway hopefully he comes by and buys it all right so now it's Saturday I just got back from garage selling I bought some pretty good stuff also last night the uh, people did come by and bought that sectional thing I knew they're gonna lowball but by the time they showed up 
because they lived half hour away, there was 12 other people asking about it. So I had a bargaining chip in my pocket. So they offered 75. I said, eh, I can't really do that. I'm asking 85. There's like 12 other people. He come back at uh, 80 and I decided to take it. So I made a $20 profit off of that. And now all those pills are free and I'll uh, post them on eBay as soon as we get them out of the washer and cleaned up and I get photos and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, here's what I found today. So I found at the very first garage sale, which by the way, I went to late because I really, really was thinking about not going garage selling today. I was just kind of burned out and uh, I don't know, I kind of felt like taking a day off, but I was glad I did because I found a really good sale. So this lady had these chairs there. There was only $10 for all of them. Now they're maybe not the absolute best condition, you know, they got some scuffs and scrapes, but they are really solid. They actually have a pretty cool design. They're kind of in between country and almost modern in, in a way, sort of. But uh, anyway, a lot of people lately, when I put up uh, table and chairs, if the tables are kind of not that great, kind of like the orange and tile one I bought the other day. Anyway, when they're not so great, a lot of times people just ask if I'll sell the chairs. So for 10 bucks, I decided to grab these and see if I can get maybe, mm, I don't know, 45, 50 out of them, something like that. Uh, probably 45 just to get them to move quick but uh, anyway that's the only local find i picked up today now everything else is for ebay so i'll show that to you in just a minute okay so before i show you everything i got garage selling let me show you a couple of ebay sales i had overnight so the first one here is a craftsman battery charger all right i got this i believe at a garage sale for a dollar it's the craftsman uh, model number 5336. I've actually sold one or maybe two of these before in the past and uh, they go for pretty decent money. So I got it for a dollar and it sold for $34.95 with free shipping. And uh, the others when I sent them out they were like seven or eight dollars a ship because it's kind of heavy-ish but not too too bad. So that was the first sale. Okay second sale was the third and final Puzz 3D puzzle that I had. I bought these at a rummage sale several months back now. I uh, bought three of them, they're all brand new sealed like this. I paid $6 each, and uh, first one sold like almost 55 bucks, and then it took a while to sell, so I dropped the uh, remaining two down to $49.95, free shipping. The other one sold a while back, and this one finally sold. It's also gonna go international, so I only have to ship it to Kentucky. So it shouldn't be too bad. It fits in a priority mailbox. It's maybe a little, it's like a quarter inch too thick. So it kind of puffs out the box just a little bit. But I think it'd be okay for that short of a trip. And uh, anyway, I go there and then it goes international wherever. So it sold for $49.95 free shipping. And like I said, I paid six bucks. So that's pretty cool. And then also I sold another Haynes manual. Just showed one yesterday. And this one is for the Nissan Altima, 2007 through 2010. Same deal, got them all at uh, the uh, car parts store, uh, Advanced Auto Parts. It was a um, uh, clearance rack and uh, they were all new. They just, most of them are like this. They didn't have the clear plastic, but you can tell it's never been looked through or anything. And I got really cheap, but they've all been paid for. So now this one's considered, or I'm considering it free. And it sold for uh, $13.95 plus 317 media mail shipping. So that's a total of 1712. And I don't have any money in this one because I've already got paid back for everything I bought. So anyway, that was the um, sales of today so far. Now I did have a bunch of stuff that's gonna go on eBay. I'll show that to you in a minute, but I need to get this stuff sent off to the post office first. All right, so here are all of the items I picked up garage selling and one from thrifting that I got to put on eBay. And uh, kind of a mix of things from Friday and Saturday. I'll just show it all to you here. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and start with the uh, thrifting. This uh, come from Salvation Army. I found another one of these Cuisinart blenders. The last one I had was a DLC 10 plus. This is a DLC 8 plus. The last one I got at a garage sale for five bucks. This one I get, or I got at uh, Salvation Army for 450. And the other one, uh, exact same condition, you know, pretty nice. This one might be a little bit dirtier. It'll take more cleaning, but they both work. The other one I parted out. I took everything apart. I'm selling it separate. Haven't sold anything yet, so it might take a while. May have to end up dropping prices a little bit. But uh, anyway, that last one's five bucks. I'm going to part it out. It might end up, if it all sells, it's going to be quite a bit of money. I mean, several of the parts are like $25 each, so... 
I don't know, $75 plus, maybe close to 100 bucks. This one, I might try a different method. I might see if I can sell it total all together and see if it goes quicker. But I don't know. Maybe I should go ahead and divide it out as well. But for $450, if I sold it all together, it'd probably go between $40 plus shipping up to maybe $60 or $70 free shipping, somewhere around there. But if I parted out and waited out, because it seems like it's going to take a while to sell the other one off, Maybe I could get a little more out of that, like I was saying, you know, 75 plus. So I don't know. We'll see. I might just see if I can get it my money back quicker. You know, spend the 450, turn it into like 50 bucks plus shipping or something, and just be done with it. We'll see. Okay. Uh, other items I picked up on Friday that was garage selling. I went back to a garage sale. Uh, it's the one where I bought the two bird clocks. Uh, I don't know. Was that a, two weeks ago or something? Maybe three. I don't know. But anyway. I was just driving around, saw a sign, turns, like, oh yeah, I've been to this sale before. So I went to it, she had all new stuff out. Apparently she's like a hoarder or something. She just had tons and tons of stuff in her garage that she was just pulling out into the driveway and selling it all. So I walked around and I saw a couple things that uh, seemed interesting, but the only thing that really caught my eye, there was a uh, Edelbrock, uh, was it Edelbrock? Yeah, Edelbrock carburetor, but she said it was her brother-in-law's. He wanted a hundred firm on it. That's probably about where it was worth locally. So I decided to pass on that. The other thing that caught my eye was these reel-to-reel -reel tapes. All right, so we got kind of a mix here. So the first ones here are still new sealed, so that caught my eye immediately. Really old media like this that's brand new sealed can sell pretty well, so it's still plastic wrapped. These are BASF 1800 Studio Series reel-to-reel -reel tapes. I looked them up. They sell for about $12.95 each, something like that. So I'll put two together and see if I can get about 30 with free shipping, somewhere around there. So. When it's all said and done, I'll get, I don't know, just under 25 bucks profit, something like that. So, oh, by the way, I paid a dollar for both of these together, so 50 cents each, okay? And uh, I really just wanted these that sitting on a stack of other reel-to-reel -reel tapes, and she was like, I'd really like to sell them all together. So I was like, well, would you take $2 for everything? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So the rest of this, I paid a dollar for all these. You know what? I haven't even looked in there to see if they're, if they're there. Okay, so we have Loretta Lynn, don't come... Home a drinking with loving on your mind. All right. Uh, I don't know if it's dated. Anyway, a real real tape of Loretta Lynn. Then we have this one, RCA Victor uh, Elvis for everyone, and Elvis Paradise Hawaiian style together. All right. Uh, 1965, 1966. We also have Wilma Burgess. Don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> And then we have Nancy Sinatra, Country, My Way. Uh, okay. Also have Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. And then we have Furlan Husky. Yeah, I think he's a Missouri guy, actually. And then we have Nancy and Lee. So I might look through these and see if they have any value. I mean, maybe alone some of them are like 10 bucks. I don't really know. Maybe they don't have value at all. My original plan was just to try to sell them all together as one lot, because I hardly doubt there's a lot of real to real collectors out there, but maybe there is. And I could be surprised. Maybe these are actually worth good money. I, I don't know. But my plan was, like, like I said, with these to try to sell them for about, about 30 free shipping, maybe 25, somewhere around there basically do the same with this whole lot here. So I could turn my $2 into about 50 or 50 or $60. What did I just drop? Oh, okay, no big deal. All right, but I don't know, I'll look through these. Maybe they're worth more money, maybe not. Okay, at a uh, different garage sale, I found this. This caught my eye because it's hanging like this. And I immediately see the spell out on the sleeve, Nautica. Now, I know it's not quite your uh, polo and you know, those those kinds of uh, brands, but it's close. It reminds me of 90s. Everyone wanted Nautica back in the day. So I looked it up. It does have good value. Now, this one does have some staining on it, but I think that will clean off. I think I can scrub all those out. I mean, it, to be truthful, it looks like it's like dried... I don't really know what it is. Almost like dried snot or something. So I don't know, but I think that will clean out. But it's pretty clean otherwise. It is not that stained up. A little bit of yellowing and... Some, this coloring right there that I'm just now noticing, but for the most part, it's in good condition. I paid a dollar fifty for this. This is a, I think it's a, a sailing jacket. It has a hood that rolls up in there. I looked them up, and right now, uh, in you know July, they're selling for like thirty bucks, maybe thirty-five. But there were some that sold for, uh, I mean, what was it, fifty 
I think there was one that was like $59.99, uh, 50 bucks somewhere right in there. So I think I might hold out just a little bit longer until it gets closer to fall and see if I can get around 50 for it. You know, 40 to 50, maybe more, but I don't know. Now that I'm seeing it sting, I'm not sure I'll get more than 50, but I'd like to get as much as I possibly could to make my dollar 50 worth it. Okay, so let me swap out some stuff and then I'll show you what I bought on Saturday. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, uh, on Saturday, I got to bed really late Friday night. I couldn't sleep and then my alarm goes off in the morning to go out and I was like, I don't wanna go out today. I'll just take today off, I just can't do it. So I turned my alarm off. Like two hours later, I wake up and I was like, ah, I should go anyway. It's, you know, I could probably find something pretty decent. I'll just, I won't go to 30 miles away like I was planning. I'll just stick around town, see if I can find any other sales that I didn't hit up you know, on Friday. And that's what I did. And I found some pretty decent stuff. Okay, so one of them was not in town. It was actually a town up the way that I've only been there once for, I think I went to a garage sale up there. I didn't buy anything. But this time, they had a pretty good looking sale. And I got to say, I think I mentioned it before, but when you go to these little rinky-dink towns that are a little bit out of the way that no one else goes to, I tend to find pretty good stuff. It's kind of, I don't know, an, an older neighborhood, an older town, older people own the, uh, own the home. They have a lot of stuff they've collected over the years. They were moving and they had some pretty good stuff and they were willing to make deals to get rid of it. So everything I got at that sale, that's where I bought the four chairs and paid $10, uh, $10 for those. Everything else I got their sale, oh, that's free, that's free, oh, that's free. So they were just giving it to me to take it away. First item I picked up was this right here. Check that out, Harley Davidson Moto Boots, all right? Motorcycle boots, uh, kind of hard to read. I'll have to really, really look through it, but I believe it's model number 91002. Size wise, I can't tell. I, I guess I have to try them on, but I think it's either, I think it's a size 12, but, it, but I can't tell. Is that like a 12E, a 12, I don't know. It's gonna take a little bit to figure that out, but these are free, so it doesn't matter, all right? So they're not in super terrible condition. They do have a pretty good amount of wear on the heels. So that's something to look for. You sit on the ground and you should see if the heels are worn out but I think it doesn't really matter on these as long as I get the size right, uh, clean them up. I'll use some clear shoe polish over them just to make them look a lot nicer, get rid of some of the scuffs and stuff, but they're not too bad. So um, I looked them up and I think I can get, I'm trying to remember, probably somewhere around 50 to $70 out of them, somewhere around there, so that'd be a really nice turnaround. Okay, at that same sale, I found this in a little bin. She says, oh, all toys are free. So I, or not a bin, a little box, and all the toys are free. And this was in there, an Xbox game, Jade Empire, okay? And I know it's not worth a whole lot of money, but it doesn't matter for free, I'll do it. I looked it up, I think it was selling for about 10 to 12.95 or something like that. I'll see if I can get about that. But hey, for free, it's really easy to ship out. Okay, another thing about my eye, that's pretty cool. If you're about my age, you should recognize this. This is the slightly lesser known version maybe I should I don't know if that's quite the right way to see it but check it out my buddy so these are little my buddy overalls you know my buddy and me but my buddy if you remember was brunette with red overalls the one that's less common is the my buddy that was blonde with blue overalls so I looked up my buddy overalls and they do sell people are selling clothes if you have the full set of my buddy clothing they go for like 20 bucks all right but there's not a lot of blue ones out there. Everyone has the red my buddy. So either the either the blonde my buddy is less sought after, no one cares about it, or it's more rare. So I want to try to see if I can get about $15 just out of the overalls. There's no shirt, there's no hat, there's no shoes. I want to see if I can get that, but it might end up going for I figure it's probably more like $12.95, something like that. But I don't know. We'll see if I can get about $15 out of them. But that was free at a garage sale, so I should be able to get, let's say, at least 50 out of that, at least 10, and at least maybe 10 or 12. So that's pretty good. That's like 70 bucks at least off of free stuff at that sale. Plus those chairs I got for 10 bucks. Uh, I got someone interested in them locally. I have them marked at 45 bucks. That'd be another $35. So that yard sale spent 10 bucks turned into maybe $100. That's not too bad. Okay, I went to a couple other sales, and then uh, one of them I hit up. It was the same thing. It was a house. It was in town. But it was in this weird back road, or not a back road, it was like a hidden road. I've never ever been to it before. It was like behind a park, it was a little roundabout. You had to take all kinds of these little side roads to get to it. And I show up and they have really cool old stuff, but 
nothing I was really looking for. It looked like the type of sale where you would find really good like this. Like they might have a fool my buddy for sale, like it was one of those houses. But uh, the only thing I ended up finding, I almost left and then I looked on the ground one more time. I like to, when I go to garage sales, I do a pass through, look it up just the obvious stuff, and then I go through again, look at it closer, and then before I leave, I scan one more time, looking you know, at the ground really closely and just all that. I try to do it quickly, but I, I try to look it over several times. Anyway, I find these. And they're kind of sitting on the ground, and I, I'm looking at them. I thought it was, they were kind of folded up a little bit, just kind of sitting there. I thought it was just like old tarps or something. I don't know. But then I looked at it closer, and I was like, oh, wow, those are Boy Scout bags. So it's Boy Scouts of America National Council. And I turn them around in the back, and as you can see, it says property of, and then you got your name tag there, and it's the number 574 Yucca Pack. They had two of them. They were only a dollar each. They're pretty dirty but I don't think it actually really matters. I think people want these just because they're cool and old. Um, I don't know if I want to try to clean them up or not. It will probably hurt the value because they are kind of a little bit scuzzy, but whatever. If you notice, this one has all of the leather straps. This one does not, so that will hurt value. Anyway, I looked them up and in good condition, solid. Um, man, this one is a little dirty. They were selling for like 20, 25 bucks. I'm hoping to get about 20 out of this one. And then this one, since it's not quite complete, but maybe someone could part it out or still use it for something. Uh, I don't know, $15, something like that. So what I want to do is put them together. And now I don't know, now that I'm looking at how dirty they really are. I was hoping to put them together. I paid a dollar each, so I got $2. Just sell them as one lot for like $40 of free shipping and see if I can get it. All right, so I don't know if I will or not, but it would probably go for 30 something dollars. But that's not too bad for $2. So that's pretty cool. Kind of a bikes to, or I mean, a bags to bucks type deal, like a Bonafide Hustler talks about all the time. And I've sold a lot of bags, and they do well. So do boots. And uh, anyway, okay. So then I drive around. I find a couple other sales. Nothing I'm really looking for. And then I finally, uh, I'm about to head home, and I get on my app one more time, and I scan to see if any new sales pop up. And there's one more that uh, popped up, way outside of town, and uh, this little weird. Or I shouldn't say weird, but just this little tiny community on the outskirts of town. It's just, I don't know. I guess it is a little weird because the town is like, uh, like my dad used to say, it's like a wide spot on a road. Like there's one road and a couple of, you know, uh, businesses on the side of it and then nothing. But now it's getting built out because town, you know, everyone has built out this town. So they're moving just outside of it. So along the main road is these rundown gas stations. And like where this was, was this rundown trailer park. And then across the road is like, you know, ATV uh, um, dealerships and um, all kinds of uh, building, like uh, construction businesses. And behind that is like these super high end houses that are getting built. So that town is definitely getting built up. Okay. So anyway, like I said, this was at a trailer park that was really run down looking. And uh, just driving by the road, I was like, ah, oh, you know, that doesn't look too good. But I'll go anyway. So I show up and it actually had pretty good stuff. So I was looking through. And uh, they had some really nice shoes. They had a couple of old electronics. They had some other stuff that's probably worth good money, but I just I didn't know enough about it. Had a bunch of coolers, things like that. It was actually a pretty interesting sale. So the first thing that caught my eye was this right here. This looks very similar to something I sold in the past. Uh, Franklin brand. This is a Franklin language master. It's a dictionary and thesaurus, but I'm assuming it does different languages or something. Uh, I'll have to test it, see if it works. If it does, oh, by the way, I paid a dollar for it. If it does, these, I looked them up, they are worth about 25 to 30 bucks, free shipping, somewhere around there. So I'll try to get as much as I can. It definitely needs to get cleaned up, and I hope it works. If it doesn't, it's probably not worth hardly anything at all. So I doubt anyone's parting these out. They're just going to buy a different one. Okay. I actually bought the shoes and that thing, and as I was leaving, I went through and saw this, and I bought it. But I'll end the, on the shoes because they're worth the most. Okay, so I found this. Now it was in a pile of MP3 players in a box. She wanted to sell the whole box for five bucks, but the other was just like, like the kind of MP3 player you'd find at like a flea market, just some unknown, cheapo, or unlabeled brand, you know, just some made in China, you know, $10 back in the day MP3 player that's worth absolutely nothing now. I didn't want that, but I did find this, an iPod. I believe this is the first generation iPod. Um, it's the one gigabyte. Uh, serial number YM617875UPR. I had to look it up a couple times to finally find one, and when I did, 
I found one that sold for $40 with free shipping. So this also has a little case, but the case is kind of dirty. I'll include it anyway. Um, this thing, I, I can't remember how I turned it on, but when I did, it had a whole bunch of share music on there. So it does work. And then I found the cable for it as well. So anyway, uh, by the way, I paid a dollar for this. So she had the whole box for $5. I was like, I, I really just interested in this one. Would you take a dollar for it? She's like, mm, okay, yeah, I'll do it. So I got it for a dollar. I'm hoping to turn it into about 40. Okay, the last item, she said, oh, all shoes are $3. So I'm walking around and I see these, okay? It's a really good brand, Solomon. I've sold uh, Solomon hat and I think I might have had Solomon boots one time, like snow boots or something I sold in the past. Okay, so these are probably running shoes or something like that, cross trainers, I'm not really sure. Uh, I looked them up, Solomon, and they are model number uh, 379193. It's a USA size 9, so that's pretty good. A little bit kind of smaller shoe size for guys, but it's, that's not bad. I just sold a pair of boots for size 8, and they sold really quick, so these should sell fine. Um, size 9 Solomons. Uh, paid 3 bucks. I looked them up. On eBay, a brand new pair had sold for like $109, and then there was another pair that sold for $65. I don't remember if that was used or new, but there was not a lot listed. So I think I can get about 50 to maybe even, if I really push it, maybe $75, because they're in really nice shape. It looks like they were only worn a few times, so they're actually in really, really nice shape. I might actually try that, maybe about, try about... 70 or 75 of free shipping and see if I can get it. So that'd be a great turnaround for three bucks. So all in all for a day when I really didn't want to go out, I wasn't feeling it. I was kind of burned out. I was super tired. I didn't hardly get any sleep. I didn't want to go out. I was just going to take the day off. I ended up finding pretty good stuff. So we're going to assume about $70 here, at least maybe 30 here. So there's a hundred bucks. I could probably make about, I think at least 50 off of these shoes. And then at least, if this works, 20, so there's 70, and then at least 30 off of that. So what is that, like $200 or something like that. So that's not too bad. Plus, I got those chairs to sell, too. So anyway, that was the um, items I picked up for eBay. But today's still just Sunday, and I'm sure I'll have a few more sales. I know I have uh, one I sold last night on eBay, but I'm going to wait till today finishes because I have an auction going out for a really, really cool item that should hopefully be the most expensive item I've sold on eBay. And if it goes really well, I might make it its own video because it should be pretty cool. So anyway, let's see what else happens. Oh, and I totally forgot, I had them sitting over there, forgot to show these. So I bought another pair of Heelys. All right, check it out. I still got the box, brand new. They were $59.99. Heelys, the Street Low Style 7490C, Youth Size 13C, they're white, black, and pink. And check that out. Brand new, never used. All right, so the last pair of Heelys I had, like I said, I got at a garage sale. They look like they're used maybe once or twice. They're only five bucks. I thought, wow, those are those got to be worth really good money. So I bring them home, realized that they really only are worth about 25 or 30 plus shipping. But mine was missing one of the little Heely wheels in the back. So to buy a new set of those, they're like 25 bucks. So it was not a good deal. I ended up selling them, what was it, 20 25 of free shipping. After sending them out, I made, I don't know, $10, 9 or $10 profit, something like that. Okay, anyway, these have both of the wheels. No scuffs, never worn before. Um, I mean, you can tell the wheels have no wear whatsoever. It still has a sticker on the bottom. It has the two little plugs. If you take the wheels out, they, you put these little plugs in there. It's got both of those. And it has the little removal tool to take the wheel out. So they are totally complete. It's kind of small, but someone's going to buy them for their kid. And like I said, they were uh, $60 new. I got them at this garage sale. This lady actually had a um, big oak table that was taken apart. And uh, I was thinking, wow, I sold a couple of those. They go for pretty good money. I could probably get, you know, 50, 60 bucks out of that. I wonder if she'd sell it. And she was moving and I was wanting to get rid of everything. And I asked if that was for sale. Oh, yeah, I would want $75 for that. I was thinking, oh, okay, well, I can't do that. She, then she told the kid, hey, go inside and get those bolts for this table so we can put it together and show them. And I was thinking, oh, great. Now... Now they're going to put this table together and I'm going to have to work my way out of this deal because she's asking max price. I have no, no money left in it. So then I'm walking around and then I'm about to leave. I'm kind of waiting for them to bring it out, but then I'm just seeing if there's anything else. And then I see this little box 
and I see Heelys on there. I was like, wow, I wonder if there really is Heelys in there. And I open it up, and then I see that they are like brand new condition. And uh, so then I look them up, and they sell for, um, I'm trying to remember now, wrote it down. I think they were selling for about $35 to $39.95, but I think those were pre-owned in good condition. But these are still new. I mean, they have some wear from being in the box. The lady said she bought them. She paid $60 new, and then she put them in a closet. I think it was going to be a birthday gift or something. And then she totally forgot she put them in there. And when she finally found them, her daughter was already too big to wear them. So she's just trying to sell them. I asked how much. She said, oh, I'd like to get $10 out of those. So I let it sit for just a minute or two and kept looking. And she's talking to this other lady buying a whole bunch of clothing for like 10 cents a piece or something. And I was like, well, would you consider $5 on them? And she was like, mm, I'm eating the meal at 7 So I bought them for 7 bucks. And I think because they are new, I don't think I can get the full 60 out of them. But... I will try to shoot for somewhere in the 40s, 40 to $45, somewhere around there. I think I should be able to get it. Plus, they're already in the box. It's going to be really easy to ship inside another little box or stuff like that. So anyway, totally forgot, but I can turn my $7 probably into at least 40 or more. So that's not too bad. Okay, so now we'll see what happens when I sell some more stuff later today. All right, so the weekend is now officially over, and I did sell some more stuff. I also ended up selling my most profitable item on eBay so far. I'm not going to show it in this video, though. I actually want to make it its own video because it's pretty cool. be kind of an interesting way to celebrate it, just be its own video. So anyway, here's the uh, last couple things that sold on eBay. Uh, first one here, you can probably kind of see it. It's that little Casio PT-82 keyboard. Um, I might have to show a picture so you can see better details. But this was from the garage sale where I bought a box of old, like, 1980s um, electronic toys. Uh, I think I got it for 5 bucks for the entire box. There was two guitars in there. I'm trying to get, like, 100 bucks out of those. This thing, I looked it up. They were worth okay money, like 20 bucks, somewhere around there. But mine was pretty scratched up. I did clean it. It was really, really dirty when I got it. It cleaned up, but it's still pretty scratched up, yellowed. And the little, um, they're like a little cassette looking disc, or a, I don't know what you call it, but like a little cassette thing you stick in it. And the lid for that is broken, so just kind of sitting there. So anyway, I paid, uh, or, or like I said, I got it for free, because it was in that box of $5. I'm considering the $5 going towards those two little electronic guitars. Everything else in there, I'm just selling off just to get some more money out of it. And uh, anyway, it sold for $16.95 plus $9.26 shipping. So that's a total of $26.21. So, you know, I'll pay some fees off of that, whatever that ends up being. So that's not too bad. Whatever it is, it was free. So, hey, I'll make, you know, 10, 12 bucks off of it, something like that. Not too bad. Okay, next item it sold. I've had this listed for a while. I thought it was going to sell for a little more money, but it still sold pretty well. So this is... I still can't pronounce it. Is it Awa? Awa? I think it's Awa. This is a cassette player, kind of like a Sony Walkman, except it's Awa brand or whatever. Uh, this is the TX-686. I got this at a really nice neighborhood in town. Turns out this was actually kind of a high-end one back in the day, or fairly high-end. Really good condition, except the LCD screen has a scratch right there. And the only issue I noticed, it sounds great, it works fine, nothing broke or anything like that. The lady was asking $5, and uh, I tried getting it cheaper, and uh, I did. I got it. I ended up getting it for $2. I thought it was going to sell for about $50. Or maybe 45, like 50, like 49.95 with free shipping, or maybe you know 44.95 or basically 45 plus shipping, somewhere around there. It didn't happen. I had it listed. There were some watchers, but it just it didn't quite happen. So then I kind of adjusted prices. I finally had it down to 39.95 plus shipping, and nothing happened. And then I put free shipping on it, and then it finally sold after like a month at that price. So I've had it listed for probably three months now, two or three months, and it finally sold. For $39.95 free shipping. So um, I'm trying to think, I don't even think it's a pound. I'll put it down here somewhere. Yeah, it's only 11 ounces, so it'll go first class. So it's not too bad. I pay $2, it'll probably be about $4 to ship, something like that. Not too bad. So all in all, I'll make right around $30 profit. Okay, next one here. I just got these not too long ago at Salvation Army. It's that bag of rollerblade wheels. Alright, so these are. Uh, like in lot or uh, indoor race wheels. There's no bearings. They're all used. They're mostly the same size, but some of them aren't. 
Anyway, they were only five bucks. I looked them up. They were selling sets of, I don't remember if it was sets of eight or sets of ten new ones. They were like, I don't remember now, 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. So since these were used, but I have a whole bunch of them, I don't remember how many's in there now. It was several sets. I decided to put them kind of cheap just to kind of get rid of them, but make some money off of them. So I put them at $34.95 with free shipping. So they're kind of heavy. They are, let me see here, four pounds, 10 ounces. So pretty heavy. So depending on where they go, they could be a little pricey to ship, but whatever, I'll still make money off of them. I know I can at least, I think I can at least make half my money back. So probably about $15, something like that. So it's not too bad. Okay, also last item here is this Tommy Bahama shirt. I just knew this was gonna be such a good seller when I bought it and uh, sat and sat and sat. I finally dropped the price until it finally sold. Basically it's black silk. It's got this like gold and gray embroidery pattern all over it. Just imagine a uh, guy at like a cigar shop sitting around, you know, smoking cigars. He's gonna wear a shirt like this or out playing golf or something in Florida. You know, imagine that kind of shirt. And uh, that's basically what this is. But uh, anyway, I got it at Goodwill for $350. I thought it was gonna be like a $30 or $40 shirt. I had it up there and uh, it got, you know, people checking it out, but no interest or anything like that. I finally, when I started slashing prices on my clothes, I dropped this way down to $13.95 plus shipping and it finally sold. So they paid $13.95 plus $4.80 shipping, which is a total of $18.75 and I paid $350. So whatever I make off of it, I make. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, so that was all the stuff on Sunday. Now today, Monday, I sold a couple things as well. I'll put them in the next Flips and Finds video, but I also, kind of show you here. I also sold one more item this weekend. It ended up being the highest profit item I've sold on eBay. Almost $500. So this little box right here, almost 500 bucks. And I almost got it for free, really close to free. So anyway, I'm gonna make that its own video, but that was really exciting. I did it auction style and I was on the edge of my seat, nervous uh, all weekend long with no bids coming in until the very, very end, and it was pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, that was the uh, flips and finds of the weekend. I also, I did not sell any more local items, although I had people interested. But uh, anyway, if you like these videos, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and then if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Click the little bell icon, whatever else YouTube might be making you do now to keep up with the uh, subscriptions. And uh, anyway, thanks for checking it out.